Hello guys, Zisto here with a brand new, spanking new, Factorio series. You find yourself standing in a complex cell. See the mitochondria and the chloroplasts. See the chemical processes moving energy to and fro. Look at it bustling. Oh, it's so complex. But let's go back. Let's go back to the dawn of Factorio evolution. We emerge from the time vortex to find ourselves thrust far, far into the past. We're on a lifeless, desolate rock. Life has yet to evolve on this planet. There are no factories here. But what it does have is unending hordes of aliens that want to kill us. So we better get going. This is Factorio, a game which I have played, I think I've got probably 350 hours or so in it, and I have played it a heck of a lot. Uh, if you're not familiar, I have two other series on Factorio. It's been on Steam for a few weeks now, just got added to Steam, and it's been an itch that I've been wanting to scratch, so finally we're going to scratch that itch. We are starting a new Factorio series, this time in glorious 1080p. There's been some updates to the game, a lot of very nice visual updates. Uh, it's much stable, there's multiplayer, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, and I thought for the first episode, we should probably do a little bit of a rundown of how to start up because we're playing on max alien settings, which most people don't really do. And so ha this is how it's going to go. Um, I was trying to think of a, a way to distinguish this series from previous Factorio series. My first series, I made a massive base and it's on YouTube if you want to go check it out. Uh, I made a massive base, a main bus system, where most of the materials of the base that we made were on belts in parallel, and it was really big, not necessarily efficient, but it was fairly streamlined. And then after that, for a challenge, I decided to make the, uh, the linear Factorio series, where I set the max height of the map to 20 units. So we had to be very creative with how we routed the different things we were trying to make. And I was trying to think, okay, uh, what could I do for a new series? And I, I decided I really wanted to use trains, like a lot. I wanted to do, go crazy with trains. And over time, I came up with this idea. Uh, okay, 16, lovely. Let's make another one of you and another one of you. And let's hit Alt, turn, turn that on. Um, I came up with this idea to use trains to separate all of the things in the game. And I came up with the analogy just in the last day that it's kind of like a cell dividing in meiosis, which is how sexual creatures reproduce. A cell divides in half, and half of the DNA goes to one cell, half of the DNA goes to the other, and they spread apart and they go, those are called zygotes, and they go look for another zygote of the same species, and then they combine back into a, uh, or no, gametes, they're gametes, they combine into a zygote, and they create a new life which has the same basic genetic makeup but um, has unique traits that uh, neither of the parents had, right? So, uh, this is the idea. Each Factorio base, we're going to con consider a cell and we are going to split off this cell and basically divide up the functions. We're going to start with one base and then we're going to divide it up and with trains, let's make another one of you, with trains we will... Um, transport all the things in between the different areas, in between the different cells. So the, the train tracks are gonna be like veins and arteries, and the trains themselves are gonna be the blood. They're gonna transport the oxygen, the nutrients, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna split up the DNA. The, the cells are never gonna recombine. So we're gonna, okay, my pick broke. Um, we are going to, slowly but surely spread everything out until we have highly specialized cells and this giant organism we're going to make a multicellular organism it's it's a kind of a really interesting analogy after i thought about it i had this idea of doing the trains and splitting up functions first and i came up with the cell analogy afterwards but it really does fit pretty nicely okay uh so at this point what do we want we want to start mining up some stone so for the first episode, I thought, since it's been a pretty long time since I've played Factorio, and a lot of you guys probably have never seen it and may have not even seen my videos, my older ones, 
Now, I thought I'd do a little sort of illustration of how to get started when you've got the, the alien set to maximum. Okay, so do that, and we want a chest. And this is how we're going to get started. Basically, the TLDR of this is that uh, the first thing you need to do is research military as fast as possible. Uh, and ordinarily, you would probably want to research automation first so that you can get some automated crafting going. But with this many aliens this close to us, we definitely cannot afford to do that. We have to get turrets up as quick as possible. And this is the general sequence I go in. I go uh, three iron miners, then one stone miner, then I set up two coal miners, and then I get one copper miner. And from there, we start uh, researching things. Okay, so at this point, we want to make two of those. And here's a neat little trick. Here's a neat little trick. Come on. I guess we'll go ahead and give him one. Okay, so have these guys face each other. These are burner mining drills. They will drill up anything they're on top of, and they will place it wherever in the spot where this little arrow is pointing. If you put two of them facing each other, they will feed each other their fuel type, coal, and they will just uh, basically run themselves. That's the first automation we get to do. It's very handy, very useful. Okay, so then we want to control right click to do halves and then left click to drop the left. I'm control left clicking here to get the iron plates out of there. Then we want, uh, what do we want next? We want to start, well, we're gonna need to get some fuel for you, but we need to start copper. Okay, let's go grab some coal. And we're basically gonna spool up from here until I have about six of these iron guys, two or three copper ones, and one or two of these guys. Let's just give you, that's a right click there, six of those. Give you a few coppers. Oops, okay, you can't uh, just right click. You have to control right click unless you're in their inventory. There we go. Give you the rest of that. Go pick up some of you. We can make two more of these. And I think just to make it a little easier so we don't have to travel around quite as much, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this little loop into uh, from two to four. There we go. As long as there's one of those going, they will uh, send the coal around in a circuit. Um, you wanna break things with the right mouse button. You want to access inventories and place things with the left mouse button. Similar to Minecraft, I guess, off the top of my head. Although I play that game with muscle memory, so that might not be accurate. <laughs> but uh, it is a uh, right click to break, left click to access, or like this, to access the inventory just there. Okay, so um, to get a lab going, we have to, or to research, we need a lab. This thing, which takes copper, that's why we're making copper. And we're going to need a electricity setup, so we're going to need a steam engine. And we're going to need to boil the water in it to make the steam. So we need boilers. We need to get the water to there. So we need an offshore pump. Uh, but first, let's see. I think we might want to go ahead and increase our production a little bit and then get to work on that. Now, if, you, uh, if you're playing on the default settings of the game, you don't have to be this aggressive with the military. Uh, usually you would start with... Usually you would start with um, automation first. And if you watch a speedrunner do it, that, that, that's, of course, they play on peaceful, so it's totally different. Uh, but we are not playing like that. Did I not? Oh, I did. It's in my inventory. Okay, let's go grab some more coal. Okay, now that we've got four and two, or did I do five and two? Whatever. I'm going to start on the research. So we need one laboratory. Let's give you some, some coal. Pick up the stone. Uh, we need one steam engine, about three of these boilers, and an offshore pump, and then we need some electric poles. Okay, so that's all we need for a very small electric setup. The uh, the lab here requires electricity, and there's all kinds of all kinds of items here. So it takes ten electronic circuits, ten iron gears, and uh, four transport belts. You can see all this stuff being crafted here. Later, we're gonna automate all this so we don't have to do it manually. It'll be faster, it'll be awesome. Um, but you can just dig through your inventory to look at what the uh, each one 
requires. After that, we're going to need 10 science packs. Okay, we can go ahead and set that up. Let's do that right here. Okay. And we need to feed those guys coal. Uh, let's do that. Just give it, uh, I don't know, that many. Give you that. And then open up the technology tree with T. And the first thing we want, all of this has had a graphical update. I really think the art style of this stuff is really well done. It's all been updated since last time I played. But the first thing we want is turrets. There we go. Research that. Uh, we need 10 of those. We only make four. So I need to grab some more materials. Let me just go ahead and like do a mass right clicking there to put a bunch of fuel in those. We need some more copper. Okay, so if you right click on anything in your inventory, your crafting menu here, it'll do five. If you left click, it'll make one. So I right clicked once and left clicked once, and that's gonna make six. And let's give these guys some more fuel. Okay, so after this point, once we have all that made, the next thing we need to make is ammo. Make ammo until the turrets finish researching. And then you wanna make Probably four or five or even more. Okay, we ran out. Okay, that's enough to finish the research. If you look at the research here, it says, uh, time needed to research one unit in the laboratory. So 10 seconds times 10 science packs. It's gonna take 100 seconds if you only have one of these. If you have multiple, that of course will go faster. Right now we only have one. Uh, but we're making ammo. And as soon as that turret research is done, all our attention is going to be towards making turrets. Now, if if you weren't worried about the aliens, then uh, you would be trying to increase your production faster. So you would be increasing these, you would be increasing these, you'd be setting up some automation, all that kind of stuff. But because of the nature of this type of playstyle, uh, you need to get your, your turrets down quick. Otherwise, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. Uh, but you can practice this quick start setup and get it down. It's not too tricky. Uh, let's see. I guess we can just do some manual checking. Okay, let's give you like that much. I'm shift-clicking to put that in there. Some of the uh, controls are similar to Minecraft, if that's the thing you're most familiar with. Okay, we finished that. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to do that one. Uh, but we're not going to research anything just yet because we're too busy making turrets. Okay, this guy's out of fuel. So if you, uh, from here, if you shift right click, it'll, it'll dump half of the fuel in there. If you shift left click, it'll dump all of it. So it's useful to keep that in mind. When you're running by, it's control. When you're in the inventory, it's shift. But the right click takes half out or adds half. And the left click adds the whole thing. Now, same thing with putting things in chests. Like if I want to add one stack, it's uh, shift. If I want to take all of them, it's control. So uh, those are some hot keys, quality of life type things. And you will you should be able to find that information uh, in the um, options menu. But I think it's useful to mention it for these things. Okay, let's add some more to these. Okay, uh, it's, our electricity system isn't doing anything right now. That's okay. Let's put down a turret. Now, I should mention that this is not my first time uh, doing this on this particular... Oh, I'm trying to put uh, coal in a gun turret. Okay, so there's one gun turret there. Let's go put one up here. I did a live stream... And the base that you saw at the beginning of this video was the result of the live stream, and that's the base we're going to be using to start this series. We're going to start with a functional complex cell, and we are going to start to divide it. But I, I thought it would be useful for the first episode, since it's been a while, and since a lot of people maybe have never played the game, or maybe never played it like this, uh, just to do a little bit of an intro semi-tutorial of how to get started quick and how to not die. Okay, so we've got uh, one turret for each little area. I think we probably want a turret there. And then we want to double up all our turrets. And we want to pay attention to anywhere where the aliens seem to be massing. 
Is that an alien right there? That's some kind of weird shadow. We can do a little bit of scouting. There's not a lot of wood here. There are a lot of aliens all over there. This up here in the map, we hit M. This is oil. Looks like they haven't quite gotten here yet, so we've done pretty okay. Put this guy here. And uh, I think that's probably good enough for this little introductory part of the video. And now let's jump back through our time vortex into the future where complex life already exists. So here we are back in our complex cell. Isn't it magnificent? Actually, it's fairly cramped. It's not optimal, but it has a lot of potential. It's about to divide. But before we can go into meiosis and split our DNA off, I love this analogy. We've got to fight off a nasty wave of bacteria, which is trying to uh, basically feed on our energy aka eat us we've got to kill all these aliens down here so we can take over this iron pad because we need to mutate a new adaptation a new adaptation for survival we need trains which are going to be the veins and the blood of our system and we need a place to manufacture that so uh what did i just do i'm doing follower robot count because that's pretty useful right now for what we're doing um we need a place to manufacture trains when we take over this expansion here this is only going to be about manufacturing train stuff. And as we split, we'll specialize more and more. But first things first, we need the trains. So let's see, how many uh, dudes can I use now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, looks, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, here we go. Here we go. I've already killed some. All right. Get in there and do do your business. Oh yeah, watch them melt. Watch them melt. I uh, I did some small modifications to the base after the live stream. It was mostly just to um, get some weapons getting made. I got a combat shotgun now. In fact, we could switch to it. Bam, bam, bam! I've got rocket launchers. Uh, they're not very fast or damaging yet, though, so I guess we'll just stick to the machine gun because I've done some upgrades on it. Now, I, I uploaded the uh, the live stream that is the basis for this base. Uh, I need more of these guys. I, up I uploaded the live stream to YouTube, so if you want to see how we got to this point, you can watch the live stream or just flip through it or whatever. Come get some. It's very important to watch my ammo levels because if I run out of ammo, I will be in trouble. Although, I, can, I guess now I can just switch to the shotgun. Didn't have that before. Also, watch the hit points. Oh, uh, what kind of worm is that? Hang on. That is a... That's a small worm. All right, we can handle a small worm. Okay, out of ammo. For that one device, anyway. Now, I, I am... Uh, I'm also making laser turrets, so I could just chain the turrets around, but doing it this way, mono alien -o. Every once in a while is pretty fun. Bam, take that. Get wrecked, aliens. Oh, God. Oh, all my guys died. All right, my life's getting a little bit low, and the night is setting. Time to back off and regroup. We did pretty good there. I've got a, uh, a lot of turrets here getting made. We're ready to wean ourselves away from ammo. But I think that's probably about it for episode number one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're excited for this cool new series. Um, and if you're interested in the map I'm using and the settings, you can find the exchange string in the description. And check out the live stream if you want to see how we got from that those meager be beginnings we recreated at the beginning of this video, showing how to survive max alien settings, how we got from there to here. Uh, check out the live stream, and I'll see you for the next episode. See you later. Bye-bye.